Welcome back to this. I'll you the final segment of today's Price of Business, brought to you in part by SKD.com and the boardroom. All right, so you know that music. That means it's time for the three AM egos. So let me tell you, there's three of us, and they all, we all have egos, no question about it. Especially Dan Shedd. Dan Shedd, we have to make a special door for him to get his head in and out of the studios. Intern extraordinaire. And then uh, Sigmund Kramer, uh, producer, and then uh, yours truly, your host. All right, gentlemen, um, as always, the ongoing mission of Mr. Shedd is to find delightful, entertaining, irreverent, irrelevant stories. What do you got for us today, Dan? Well, I have a guy who missed the sight of a lifetime because he was on his phone. Yeah, you know what? I saw that photo. Are you talking about the guy with the uh, the uh, whale uh, that was just literally a couple of feet from him while he was looking at his phone? Yeah, the whales were breaching off of Redondo Beach, and this small sailboat um, was just, you know, floating along, and they were right by the boat, and... Uh, this guy just did not look from his phone, and um, you know the a photographer took several photos of the breaching whales, and this guy just was absolutely oblivious. <laughs> it's a hilarious picture. I mean, it's an incredible scene. Did, did he ever become aware of the fact that there was a a whale near him? No. Apparently not. When it when it showed up in his Facebook news feed. Yeah. <laughs> Under the title Idiot Misses View of a Lifetime. Yeah, he paid how much for this this uh, boat trip to see whales and what does he get? I tell you, this phone stuff is a huge problem. He was probably looking at pictures of a whale on his phone. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I love it. I absolutely love it. It, it, it was hilarious. Uh, it's an indictment of a culture that seems to have lost all connection with uh, what reality in the world around them. And uh, yeah, that was a that was a good call. And uh, what was the uh, what was the other story you had for us? Well, in France, if you play Monopoly, you can collect real money. The French version of Monopoly is celebrating its 80th year by slipping actual cash into 80 boxes of the game. One box of Monopoly will have up to $23,600. Euros. Euros. Yeah, which is, is a little worth a little more than our, our dollars currently. Yeah, it's, it's worth like, I don't know, a third more, isn't it? Yeah, it, it depends. It's so volatile. But anyway, yeah. It's, I mean, in other words, it's, it's semi-real money. You know, all of it's kind of fake things. To, all of it's backed by various governments. And if that doesn't make you nervous, what does? <laughs> yep. Spiders. So how many boxes have this? Um, well, 79 boxes will have smaller amounts. Um, but apparently they just... One box will have, I think, the full amount, and then well, the article doesn't say, unfortunately. Well, that's funny, because as our money increasingly becomes Monopoly money, in France, the Monopoly money is becoming real money. <laughs> yeah, by the way, you're all so sad. It's actually, uh, you, you have to pay a dollar thirteen in euros for a U.S. dollar. Oh, so it's gone down. Yeah, it's gone down. Well, it's, now's the time so to go. To, now's the time for us to go visit Europe. So, bye. Goodbye. Well, hey, hey, who's going to end the show? All right, who's going to end the segment? Yeah, it's interesting. I like both of these stories. Actually, I found them both uh, kind of entertaining. Well, not you know, particularly bizarre, but uh, I really love the picture. You have to go to priceofbusiness dot com to see this image. It is hilarious. I got another. I, mean, I would have been, my jaw would have been all dropped to the ground if I saw this image in front of me. And this guy is totally oblivious. <laughs> here's here's another great one. Have you seen the video of the guy uh, walking down the street? And um, <laughs> he stumbles into a bear, a real life no. bear that's walking. It's it, There's a bear. It wandered, I think it's in Los Angeles or somewhere around there in Southern California, it had wandered through a neighborhood, right? 
and it was just making its way through an alley. And there's a chopper, a news ca- a copter, hovering over, you know, showing the doing kind of like they do with a, a car chase. In this case, it's a bear chase. But in any case, they're they're doing the play by play, and all of a sudden, this guy comes head down, face buried in his phone, comes walking down the the alley, and he runs into the bear. And, I and probably he, shouldn't laugh until I know. And, I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> <laughs> he just saw the bear. He turns around and bolts. It's hilarious. It's so but ridiculous. He survives. Yeah, it's so ridiculous. It's like, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? <laughs> you run away. And then, well, I imagine. I imagine one of the things he did was change his underwear. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I mean, he's just sitting there looking at his phone, you know, da 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 da, da texting or whatever. And all of a sudden, boom, bear. Arr! <laughs> and he takes off running, and I'm I'm surprised that the bear didn't take off after him because that would have I mean that could have ended really badly. Absolutely. By the way, if you've got ridiculous uh, images or videos or even stories of uh, how your text is, uh, texting and, and excessive phone use has gotten you into trouble, by all means, send that to uh, us at info at usabusinessradio.com. Info at usabusinessradio.com. Uh, Dan, we'll look forward to seeing those. Yeah, those are all good stories. Uh, Dan, uh, I sent you uh, over that uh, video, so make sure we get that posted ASAP as well. So when people go over there and check that out, they will be entertained, infotained. All right. <laughs> Great no, topics. Really. Thanks, gentlemen. Uh, and again, I do want to remind the listener that the best content here can be found over there at usdailyreview.com. While there, make sure you like it on Facebook, follow it on Twitter. It's had so many exciting changes uh, and more coming right around the bend. Also, this program continues 24-7 at priceofbusiness.com. Have a great day. Spend it sensibly right here on this station. <laughs>